We're visiting a really famous must try soba shop here in Kyoto. We're gonna go to a must try Wagyu course dinner restaurant here in Gion, in Kyoto. The Wagyu Uni hand roll. Guess what? We're in Kyoto. Let me just drop this off at the hotel. We'll start exploring and we'll talk about more what's going on here in Kyoto. So we've left obviously Osaka, we're here in Kyoto. Let's go. I'm staying here at the Kyoto Grand Hotel. I will do a full on hotel. Oh my gosh, that's so bright. All right, so I'm staying here at the Kyoto Grand Hotel. Um, just dropped off my luggage. I'll come back later to check in. It's nearly 11 now. It's like 10.30, we have to rush. So on today's agenda, first date in Kyoto. We're visiting a really famous must-try soba shop here in Kyoto. And I'm gonna check in, show you a bit of the hotel. We're gonna go to a must-try Wagyu course dinner restaurant here in Gion, in Kyoto. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Soba restaurant here in Kyoto called Wonke Waria. We're here at the main branch. It's near Karasuma Oike Station, north of where Nishiki Market is. Um, I gotta talk softly because, you know, most restaurants nowadays in Japan at the moment they don't want you to talk so loud because, you know, vapors and stuff. The meal comes with complimentary tea and I ordered aqua sake as well. I'm gonna have a bit. I ordered the Yasai Ten Seiro Soba, which is you, know, you got the cold soba noodles and you dip it in this. I'm guessing it's like a dashi base soy concentrated broth. And then you have a side of ebi or prawn tempura. Honke Waria originally started as a sweet shop and then they, it, it, a long time ago, then it evolved into making soba. Let's 
so we're here at my favorite spot for coffee in Kyoto called Weekenders Coffee. Uh, for the coffee connoisseurs that's been here to Kyoto many times, this place, if you know, you know, it's one of those places, right? And the style is, the style is like a new wave style where it's like light roast, just bring the flavors out. I got a Kenya, pour over. Oh man, you know what I love about Kenya? I've said this many times in the past, the grapey notes, the Ribena. So I got myself a piccolo. Oh man, that is so fruity. I could taste like cherry notes in there. Strong enough to punch through milk. It's a little bit on the vibrant side. I'm a new wave guy. I like it vibrant. All right, let me walk you through Nishiki Market on our way to the next stop. Guess what, guys? We got some people from Australia here. What up? Hey, Raph. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. Enjoy. Keep it up. Yeah, take it easy. Let's go, Sydney. Let's go, Australia. Let's go. <laughs> Saori, a tea shop, dessert shop that's by the Kamogawa River. I got their famous takeaway, so you can only get this takeaway. The famous takeaway, chestnut, Mont Blanc, soft serve, soft cream. That looks wild and amazing, right? Well, we're about to have them. Hmm. So you got, it's got the, the, the chestnut paste at the top, strands of chestnut paste, there's meringue in the middle. Soft serve right there in the middle. Mm. If you're a chestnut lover, if you love Mont Blanc, this is for you. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish this and go on the hotel check-in, rest a little bit, got more to go. Let's do a quick room tour, let's go! Alright, so that's a bed. You have like a little lounge area here. Every space is utilized well in my opinion. Your tea making area is here. You've got a sink over there. Put some of your luggages maybe. Shoes goes in there. And then you can hang clothes up here. I really love this place. I really love this hotel. It is so cozy. Um, there's a money changing machine. If you need a money changing machine, they've got one downstairs. It's like a really nice looking bistro and bar. Before I go, I got one more thing. Okay, so this is not sponsored, but there's this proxy shopper here in Japan that I normally use called Bai. Um, I'm pretty sure they're known by now. If you don't know who Bai is, they are an online proxy shopper. There's a lot of um, really known online shops here in Japan where you can buy things from them, they can do it for you. Put a link down below and you can check them out. Yahoo Auctions is like one of the main websites that they have partnered with and you can easily, um, it's, you know, for us foreigners, it's hard to buy stuff from Yahoo Auctions. So that's kind of like their, I would say their eBay, but you just gotta check the, you know, the, the users, ratings, reviews, all that. Any of the sellers on Yahoo Auctions, I have bought a few things from there. And the latest thing I bought from Yahoo Auctions via Bai is this. It's not brand new, but I've checked out the photos before I bought it, the condition, and it looks barely used. Yee yeah, boy. J53 TSGT. Got it at a really good price. Really good price. Dinner in like two hours. I'm 
super excited guys we are here at a restaurant located in Gion Gion Yakiniku Kyushu Shin and I opted for a course menu just under $200 Australian dollars it includes uh, uni a sea urchin wagyu hand roll and then there's a Chateaubriand which is a it's a very the most rare cut in a beef it's like only a small portion so this place is um, kind of like a course and kapo style restaurant Sweet fruity notes as well. We have the Wagyu Uni Sea Urchin hand roll. Mmm. Mmm, actually, oh my, I mean, it's all good. Love the texture, so velvety, very subtle umami. Then the sweet urchin comes through, then that's where the umami comes in. Sweet notes, high quality search. Mmm, this is amazing. We've got another tongue. I'm not complaining because I do love ox tongue. Put some of that green onion so it will go into the tongue. Mmm, <laughs> oh my god. Ginger in there. There's the, the negi. Wow, it's so good. And this is garlic salt. It's pepper and wasabi. The Chateaubriand is out here. I like it without your salt or wasabi, so I'm gonna go for that first. Mmm. That is buttery. Tender. It's just really tender. Mmm. So this tastes fruity. I'm gonna try the Chateaubriand with some of that rice. Mmm. Rice is life. Alright, this is like a unique way of serving sukiyaki. Break the yolk. Whoosh, should be sweet. Mm. Smooth, silky texture, buttery. That is amazing. Guys, check this out. This is insane. Like, look at look at this. So we've got three choices for the rice. We're going to mix all that. Umami, umami, umami. It's a lot of flavors and complexity going on. on top, really creamy in the inside and velvety. Mm. Thank you, Michael san Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Have a good evening. <laughs> All right, that was amazing and easily one of the best course menus I've had. Comment down below. What's your favorite set course menu anywhere? Or if you've been here to Japan. Where's your favorite? Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you guys like this video. If you did like this video, please hit that like button and smash it if you want. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please hit that notification bell so you're updated with all my videos. I will see you in the next video. Until then, peace, much love. I'm out. <laughs>